Hello, beloved, and welcome to your message. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. Beloved, if you are keen um, or interested in booking me for reading a message or one-on-one session, I'm no longer available. Let us begin with your message from the big God, okay? God himself. Let's tap in. So the energy circulating off of your message, beloved, straight away, um, I'm getting a grotesque energy, Um, grotesque meaning repulsive, you know, it's like, I feel like you're dealing with a cunt, a bastard, okay, Um, someone who is ruthless in their nature and their way of being and thinking. Okay, this is a very masculine energy coming through here. Okay, masculine, ruthless masculine energy here. Very ruthless. God, please talk to us about this matter at hand. This energy, communicate with us. What do we need to know? We have the Knight of Swords, okay? So we have Gemini energy here. We have the Tower. Scorpio energy with the Tower. Two of Wands, Aries energy. Okay. Something is, yeah, something is very obscure about this energy, very strange. I feel like this individual is just, I feel like this is a creep. So we have the death card. Scorpio energy again. So this is like, yeah, intensely creepy. We have the eight of swords. This is Gemini energy again. So, beloved, here we go. I feel that there's an energy of someone here who is, it's like, I feel like there's a masculine energy circulating in your reality. Um, This is um, giving onlooker energy, sort of like someone looking in from the outside, looking at you, your life, your reality, and your world. It's like, I feel that this masculine energy is looking at you with very prying, deadly stalker eyes. Sort of like, I don't mean to scare you with this energy, but it's like, as I said, grotesque, repulsive energy, like a bastard, a ruthless masculine. So understand this is a certain breed of low vibrational masculines that somewhat has crossed your path right this one particular masculine they might not be the only type of it's like you you might know more than one type of masculine that you can compare to this masculine you know maybe you've dealt with someone like this before or this is not new to you attracting these type of people and whatnot like you you know shit so it's like yeah so what you know um what's new hmm. This is your energy, beloved, okay? But I feel like the energy of this masculine, I feel that you're dealing with someone um, very intense-natured. This is someone who they can do something as simple as making a cup of tea, but they could make it so sentimental to them to the point where they get attached to the type of tea that they drink because it makes them, because of how, how good it makes them feel. So... 
This is a masculine that internalizes their euphoria. They experience things, people, places, and they sentimentally attach themselves to all that. And they, they, they live life circulating around that sort of energy of like, maybe obsessively indulging in this tea more than they should. Cause now it's kind of like, it feels so good. I just, I want more of it. I want more of it. So, you know, self-indulgence is a sin to humankind. It's like sort of like capitalism, but like, you know, that's just an example. That's like a reference point. But back to this masculine energy being a capitalist, um, because they, I feel like they, they leech onto two things and use them as escape, escapists or a form of escapism. And then they, they, they obsess over it until they get over it, you know, so overindulge until like, there's nothing there's no more desire left for the thing. It's just like, ugh, I don't even want it anymore. Like eating something so much to a point where it becomes, it doesn't taste the same. This masculine has that sort of intense nature of being. I feel that too. This masculine um, is very dumbfounded by or feels dumbfounded at this moment i feel that this could be for whatever reason right but i feel that this dumb dumbfoundedness is a derivative of like certain actions that they are hiding uh, I feel like you're dealing with the masculine energy that is overly attached to your energy um, in a form of like masturbation, e e intrusive thoughts, elusive, elusiveness just surrounds, it's very grotesque, man, very repulsive, it's like I feel that you're dealing with a heavy, heavily burdened, heavy hearted, masculine energy that struggles with self acceptance. So they move with a heavy heart, a heavy spirit in life due to all the um, self proclaimed um, childhood traumas that they fail to address. And it just, it becomes a part of their character to ignore the shit that is, is, is necessary, the shit that is right. Like, they ignore consequence, they ignore, they just ignore it, you know, because they're used to it. Because it started when they were young. I mean, as a child, you, you soak everything up like a sponge. So, I feel that the intense nature of this masculine this energy, apart from the ruthlessness, there's also that little boy within that hasn't healed from certain things and is sort of on a road to injustice because they've never felt justice in life. Everything has kind of went against them or left. Everything has turned left or everyone disappoints this masculine. And it's like, I feel like they stuck in that state of being of that childhood trauma, whether they choose to acknowledge it for that for what it is or not it just is what it is nothing more nothing less here so we have the death and the tower these are two powerful energies because they scope your energy and it's like in one i mean in one spread here in one message in one spread that kind of intensity it says a lot about the the message at hand, but more like the individual that this message is about. I feel like you're dealing with the masculine energy that is ruthless in their way of being and thinking. So much so that the decision-making process is based around solely their desires of life. Like, I feel like you're dealing with the masculine energy that loves flashy things, they love money. I feel like this masculine energy loves money very much. I feel like they self-indulge in self in, in self-fulfilling prophecies internalized though, you know, like you know how people talk to themselves, 
it's either they talk themselves out of things talk themselves into believing certain things but there's always that internal inner dialogue at some point in the thoughts you know things of that nature and i feel like the homeostasis of this masculine's internal state of being homeostasis like is like an internalized environment in the body but we're going to look at it spiritually because it's spiritually based because it's like thoughts and unseen unseen things are linked to a, a directly spiritual you know spirits it's it is what it is okay guys so it's sort of like the energy of the energy of this masculine is very repulsive in a way that they've grown into being the way they are like it's like it wasn't something that they became it's something that they were and then they grew into it even more it's like maybe a 19 year old um masculine energy young boy energy um who is self-entitled self-proclaimed and very egocentric in their way of being that they they very the reference point is like this 19 year old loves loves girls okay they love girls they love the feminine energy and they self-indulge in it they get any feminine they want right and then they grow into maybe age 27 and now they're just like a, a ruthless bastard who thinks female uh genitals are their property and it's like because they're so used to that lifestyle like getting it and it's like you having no friends like always getting a yes you know never being told no it that does something psychologically you know you start to think that you know oh this is who i am i i, I get it i i i i'm this i'm that and it's like no nah. it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy that you've tapped into and it has become a part of your reality so much so that it's character embedded you don't notice it but we do as people surrounding you right like so from outside looking in you can clearly see i feel like it's that type of energy with this masculine you can clearly see something's wrong with them or they just disturbed it's like a creep you can tell you know even though people don't say it or you don't say it or just people around this masculine or just in their reality it's like kind of like oh, you attract what you are they keep people around them that are exactly the same so what are they gonna say right but as a high vibrational being watching me you know you see things differently you, you feel you might even feel pity because you know what it's like to go through life thinking you know but you really don't and you have to learn the hard way God, reveal to us more about this message, please, that you have for us as your children. Okay. So we have the identity card. Um, this is like an identity card of like an identity of a certain person so someone's name and who they are what they do you know interests likes dislikes sort of like a description of someone who someone is and then we have the eight of wands right next to it which is like um speaks of communication um effective communication more like truth you know truth being spoken truth being brought to light about someone you know um i feel like an illumination here 
an illu illumination of like information about this masculine energy is going to reveal itself in your reality in like eight days eight days okay i'm being called to end this message here i really hope that this helped you beloved and that put you on the right path and track um mentally and sp spiritually and emotionally about this situation because it can get a bit stressful um when you are being um, plotted against or just envied or just craved by someone who is of this manner. Um, I thank you for your time, okay? I really hope this helped you and brought closer to your heart and spirit. See you soon next time, okay? Bye.